Hello commanders, welcome to the command table. My name is Matt, and we'll have several attempts of mine as well as some from the community submitted on public servers. So before we get into that, if you'd please be so kind as to like, subscribe, and if you want notifications when I drop new videos, be sure to hit that notification bell. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those below. We will also have the link in the description for our Discord channel. Uh, we have lots of people submitting builds, and over the course of the next two days of the raid, we'll be improving things, and usually we find ways to save keys and elixirs there. So feel free to check that out. Again, the link is in the description. Uh, one of the main things you can do right now is subscribe. We're on our way to a thousand subscribers, and once we hit that, I'll be able to do a lot more for you. So please help out the channel by doing that. Uh, Anturium posted this on the Battle Legion Discord, and he's got a bunch of merged warhounds with uh, Leech. So merge and Leech, and I'm not sure what else he's got on them, but look how they shred through all those things. It's just absolutely ridiculous. A couple of bomb bots to uh, expedite things, and then he's got Toe, um, Amulet of the Panther Queen, and Pendant of Everlasting Winter. So once they get to this point, they've got a ton of HP, because you're at 20 seconds. So I, they seem to survive just fine, even without the Pendant buff, but that was pretty incredible. Uh, he said not to take it seriously. <laughs> That's uh, probably not... Uh, something for everybody especially since you'd have to buy a bunch of stone packs to get enough merge stones to do that uh, on the tct discord we had submissions from breather and anaphant this is breather's build he's going to run through the power stones for you real quick so you can see what he's working with and then we've got earth wardens up front and that's kind of the uh, interesting element of this one where there's enough Earth Wardens that kind of make it up to Jormag that um, they block the way once he kills them. So that buys extra time on the Crystal Spires and the Stormcaller to get the damage that he needs. Okay, so there's still a few left. Now there's just a couple. They get right down, right up in front of him, and then that stalls him for a while. Now, even then... Once he hits these roots, he's going to be walking for days to try and get to those crystal spires. And the crystal spires are what's doing the bulk of the damage right now. The, I think the storm caller might be doing about the same as what a crystal spire does, but not much more on a single target. So, um, yeah, pretty straightforward. Just nuke the crap out of everything with that accuracy elixir. That's what's doing the heavy lifting right now. Uh, the banner does a fantastic job for anything that's on that side of the battlefield. On this side, it'll still uh, nuke the crap out of it. But, um, yeah, it's mostly getting that range on it to make that difference. Here's Anaphants. He's got a Titan build that's very comparable to what I'm using now. Uh, there's Most of the Titan builds kind of follow this same offset from center where you're slightly up so that you can kind of clear out the top while the bottom is tanked by the um, pyre. The um, Eternal Champions, uh, or at least my Eternal Champions, die pretty quickly once they get to Jormag, but you do so much damage from that Celestial Spear that it's it doesn't even matter. You don't need roots or anything. Uh, for mine, I don't use the Blessed Bomb bot, but you can see that his Eternal Champions lasted quite a bit longer on the boss than you'll see with mine. Because of that Blessed Bomb bot, they get topped off. So, okay, he's already got the full health, so let's just go ahead and end that, and then we'll pop over to mine. So, screen recordings... Alright, so this is my Titan build. Um, again, fairly comparable, using a lot of the same elements. I'll run through all the modifiers and power stones for you, so you can see what I'm using. Double crit 2, um, normal leech times 2, leech times 2, accuracy and aim, double range, and leech 2, and then leech 1, leech 1, and protection 2. And then we've got Leech 1, uh, Damage, and Range. 
And then we're using toe on this one. Uh, again, remember that breather was using the banner, which is totally fine. Um, banner would probably be better with his because he had the group of earth wardens, which would kind of uh, gimp the toe right off the beginning. So, yeah, here's the Celestial Spear doing about a quarter of the boss's health per hit. And good game. So we'll go ahead and skip to the end on that one. Um, this is a bomb train for you. You can see the stats here. I'm using last stand times two on the fire knights, last stand times two on the dire wolves. Not totally crucial, but it is helpful. Uh, last stand on the warhounds. Then we just got regular protection and slow on the uh, um, plague bearers. I've put uh, run speed one because I had plenty of those power stones. Just you want to make sure that all of your bomb bots have the exact same uh, speed on them, otherwise it gets really ugly. But poof, 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 there it goes. Now this is a two for one, so two keys per heart at SR14, but uh, as you'll see on the lower star ratings, it's a lot easier to get hearts. Uh, the boss health kind of goes up exponentially as you go higher. So let me show you... Uh, the bullet bomb train that I did. I had to move my bomb bots a little further back because I put charge on all of these. So watch how fast they go. Vroom! <laughs> I just zip right by. It's pretty incredible how fast they go with that charge power stone. And that's charge one, not charge two. I think charge one does 55% and charge two does about 70. So I, again, it doesn't matter which speed power stone you're putting on there. You'll just have to adjust how far back your bomb bots are. Um, and uh, just make sure they all have the same uh, speed. Here's, so here's Matthias. This is on SR12. And again, using the charge power stone. The faster your bomb bots go, the less likely they are to uh, get hit by things and to make it all the way to the boss. And then here is SR11. Kind of the same deal. Same power stones on everything. I, I have tutorials on how to do this. You can look them up on my channel. Um, I probably won't post the links again. You can find them easily enough. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So, anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Again, uh, the best thing you can do for the channel is to like and subscribe, and you can check out the TCT Discord link in the description. But again, subscriptions are the big deal right now. We're trying to get to 1,000. So thanks for watching, appreciate you supporting the channel, and we will have more for you soon.